Organic Vegetable Gardening, Agricultural Extension Service, University of Tennessee, Publication 1391. Getting it to the farm. Organic Vegetable Gardening. Protective Chemicals. Sometimes the severity of a pest problem increases until the gardener must either actively control the problem or lose yield and quality. Following the basic principles of pest control will make control easier, more effective, and less damaging to non-target organisms. Begin by inspecting the garden frequently. Walk through it several times a week, looking for weeds, insects, diseases, plants that need pruning or staking, rows that need thinning, etc. The first step in controlling a pest problem is to recognize its presence. Next, identify the problem. Many agricultural chemicals work on only one, two, or a few pests. When the problem is identified, select a pesticide that will control the problem but damage few other organisms. Properly selected treatment is more likely to be effective and less likely to damage beneficial insects and other non-target organisms. Line drawings of common insects and their description are shown in extension PB595. You can control garden insects. This publication and other Tennessee publications mentioned are available to Tennessee residents at no charge at UT County Agriculture Extension Service offices. County Extension personnel can also assist in identification of insects, diseases, and weeds. Begin control practices early. Plant diseases can sometimes be halted, but they can seldom be reversed. If damage is too severe when control measures are begun, losses in production and quality will occur. Control insects while they are immature and few in number. The more mature the insects, the larger their population, the more difficult they are to control. Sprays are generally more effective in controlling insects and disease than dusts. Sprays cover the complete surface of the plant. Sprays are also easier to apply to the bottom surface of leaves than dust. Many insect problems begin on the bottom surface of the leaf rather than the top. Use the least toxic spray that will be effective. Sometimes a stream of water, horticultural oil, or insecticidal soap solution will be effective. Use the more toxic chemicals only when less toxic sprays will not do the job. Lastly, always follow the label. Any material sold as a crop protection chemical in the United States must be registered with the Environmental Protection Agency and labeled. The label must be followed. Failure to do so is illegal and can be dangerous. Labels list time and rate application and the vegetables and pests on which the product can be used. They also contain other information, such as safety precautions. Always read the label and use the chemical only where and how is permitted. It's possible to cause severe environmental or bodily injury if agricultural chemicals are misused. In no case does the Agricultural Extension Service recommend the use of any plant protection substance in a matter inconsistent with its label. 
natural protective substances. Water. The simplest natural substance for removing insects from plants is water. A forceful stream of water may be applied to the underside of plant leaves with any type of sprayer or even with hose and nozzle. Aphids, spider mites, thrips, white flies, and other small pests can be dislodged and washed to the ground. Many will be unable to find their way back onto the plants and may die. Repeated treatments may be required to destroy all pests. More pests may hatch from eggs or mature from crawling stages that cannot be washed from plants. Be aware, however, that the more frequently water sprays are used, the more disruption of natural enemies may occur as well. Frequently, water sprays may also increase plant diseases, especially if the plants remain wet at night. Bug Juice Many organic gardeners have success controlling some insects using diluted solutions containing ground up caterpillars or mature insects. Anywhere from a few individuals to a half a cup of insects are collected and blended with two cups of water. This liquid is strained through cheesecloth, diluted, and used to spray vegetable crops. Success is not consistent. Success is more likely if dead or dying insects are used since they are more likely to be diseased and spread disease to other insects. The technique may be more successful when used in combination with other biological sprays. Do not use your household blender. Hot pepper. Hot pepper sprays are also widely used by organic gardeners. One half cup or more of hot peppers are chopped and ground, then mixed with a pint of water. The mixture is allowed to stand a day or two, then strained and sprayed on infested plant. Be careful not to get this spray in your eyes and be sure to wash your hands. Sometimes crushed garlic, onions, or strong smelling herbs are added to these sprays. There are many, many recipes that have been tried. A garlic repellent is also commercially available. Unfortunately, home remedies are neither labeled for use as pesticides, nor does the University of Tennessee have information concerning their effectiveness. Their use is not recommended. Soaps. Many types of soaps have been used to kill, dislodge, or repel certain garden pests. They vary greatly in effectiveness and toxicity in, to plants. They are frequently effective against thrips and other small soft-bodied insects such as aphids, mealybugs, and white flies. Their disadvantage is they are expensive and need to be replied frequently, possibly as much as every three or four days. Several commercial brands of soap are especially formulated and labeled for use in garden vegetables. Some of these may be mixed with other pesticides to increase the effectiveness of both. Commercially labeled soaps are the only soaps recommended for use in the home garden. Be sure to use them only as recommended on the label. Oils More than one grade of oil can be used as a spray on horticultural plants. Most are heavy grade oils suitable for use only on dormant plants. Newer, lighter weight horticultural spray oils are thinner and can be tolerated by many growing plants. They work by suffocating mites, scales, 
and soft-bodied insects, and may be the preferred method of controlling some scale insects. Use them precisely according to label to avoid crop damage. Mineral oils are also used to reduce corn earworm infestation. Two or three drops applied to corn silk with an eyedropper may protect the ear from infestation by corn earworms for a few days. Do not apply until the silk has wilted and begun to turn brown on the ends or pollination may be affected. Microbial agents. Bacillus thuringiens, Bt, is a type of bacterium that kills certain harmful insects and is harmless to beneficial insects. The most common form of Bt are sold under the trade name Dipel, Thuricide, and MVP. They are effective against the larvae of butterflies and moths and may be used on a wide range of plants. They can be reapplied as plants grow within the limits listed on the labels. A new form of BT sold as M1 is effective against Colorado potato beetles. Other forms of bacterium are being investigated and may soon be available to control additional insects. Another bacterium, Bacillus papillae, causes milky spore disease in grubs of Japanese beetles. This product is commercially available as Doom or Japidemic but may be very hard to locate. The powder is applied to the ground and, in time, affects scrubs over a large area. Once established, bacteria may survive in the soil for several years. There are also forms that work on grasshoppers as well. Sulfur Sulfur may be used to control certain fungal diseases of a variety of vegetables, fruits, grains, as well as several kinds of mites. It is one of a few substances used by organic gardeners to control diseases. Some organic gardeners do not use sulfur because of the possibility it might disrupt soil microorganisms. It can also have a negative effect on beneficial insects and burn plants when used during hot, humid weather. Products that contain sulfur include wettable sulfur, recommended for commercial use only, Thiolux, lime sulfur, and several combinations of sulfur and other materials generally acceptable to organic gardeners. Copper. Basic copper sulfate, copper oxychloride sulfate, and derivations of these products are used to control mildews, rots, blights, and leaf spots on many crops. These can be effective but may also damage plants. Be sure to follow the label precisely and observe all precautionary statements. Other protective chemicals used by organic gardeners. Sodium hypochlorite, known as common household bleach, has been used as a seed treatment. Seeds are soaked for one minute in a solution containing one part bleach, ten parts water. This solution may also be used to sterilize pruning shears, grafting tools, and seeding containers to reduce the spread of disease-causing agents. Avermectin, Avid, 
is a product used in commercial crop production. The chemical is produced by bacteria and is used to control leaf miners and spider mites. Sodium aluminofluoride or cryolite cryocide, has been used for many years in organic crop production. This product is used to control several types of insects on a wide variety of crops. Clandosan is a chitin protein found in crustacean shells and labeled for nematode control. Clandosan is a new product still being evaluated. The product acts to stimulate the growth of certain soil microorganisms that produce chitinase and other enzymes that destroy plant pathogenic nematodes. Botanically derived chemicals. Several insecticides are extracted from plants. These are frequently referred to as botanical insecticides. Five of the most common include pyrethrin, rotenone, ryania, sabadia, and neem. These are sometimes used by organic gardeners because they are effective against many insect pests and because they quickly break down into substances thought to be harmless. Gardeners should follow the same precautions when using these insecticides as when using any other insecticide. Always follow the label. Use the insecticide only on vegetables at the time and concentration for which it is labeled. Even botanicals are toxic and care must be followed in applying them. Certain special restrictions should be noted if environmental damage is to be avoided. Rotenone, for example, is 10 times more toxic to people than malathion and is very dangerous to fish. Sabadia is toxic to bees. Lastly, Remember that botanical insecticides will not differentiate between beneficial and harmful insects and may severely damage populations of beneficial insects.